Hello developers. Today we are going to learn the basics of JavaScript programming. By the end of this video, you will have your concepts cleared about the basic knowledge which is needed for programming in Java. JavaScript is a most used scripting programming language in developing most use cases nowadays. JavaScript can do anything almost any other language can do at comparable speeds. This kid has some simple to use JavaScript exercises to help someone who are starting their journey. It also has simple code snippet exercises on creating a basic function in JavaScript, creating a new data type in JavaScript, and also creating a JavaScript based age calculator. We'll be using a candy kit to build this solution. Now, what is a candy kit? Candy One Click Install Kit gives you ready to deploy solution with a complete source code. You can access many more such ready to use candy kits on augmented reality, artificial intelligence, blockchain, gaming, and many more on candy. Today we'll be using a popular candy kit, which is basics of Java one click install kit. Now this kit is open source and comes with a permissive license. That means you can freely edit, customize, and share your own solution. Let's get started then. Over to you, Pooja, for a hands-on walkthrough. Hello. Hope you all are excited to build your own JavaScript application. To build your first basic JavaScript program, to log in to create a login page, you will need the following. First of all, some basic knowledge of HTML, knowledge in cascading style sheets, and how to place the script element into your code. Everything that you need is already available in the Candy Kit. So let's get started. Let's start by installing the Candy Kit. Check the description for the link to the installable. This will set up a working sandbox application with most of the needed prerequisites and resources. You can download the installer here and follow the instructions listed here to set the kit up. So you can pause the video now, set up this kit and then get back to the discussion on the solution. Hope you all are set. If you have successfully set up the kit, you will see this page. So this page will automatically open to you and the login credential and password is set to root. So once you click on it, I mean enter these details and click on the login button. It will take you to another page wherein we'll see this welcome message. So this is a very simple login page that is being created. Now let's go and understand what exactly is happening in the code. So go ahead and open this folder in the IDE of your choice. Go to the index.html file. You will see that this is the code with the help of which you are able to create that login page. But before we go ahead and discuss what is going ahead in this code, we will check out interesting code snippet exercises that will help uh, build your concepts in JavaScript. So to do that, go to the candy.openweaver.com page. And on there, you can actually learn how you can create a simple function in JavaScript, a first basic function in JavaScript. So for that, I will write a query in this search bar as basic JavaScript function and make the search. For the same, go ahead and say, I would want the code snippets. And as I see in the very first result, I see a very simple basic JavaScript function program. I'll copy this, go back to my IDE. On my IDE, I will say new text file, copy this uh, code there and then save this simply as say basic function dot js after i have saved it uh, now i can simply run this code so i would see that as i run this code I will see two outputs as foo and bars. So let's try and understand what is happening in this code. Initially, we have created a variable called params, and in that we have four properties called host, port, user, and pass. And to the user property of params, we are actually setting the value of 
so and further another property called pass is set with bar with the use of an inbuilt function called console dot log we are actually logging this value uh, of the user which is foo onto the output screen then with the function having two of these parameters as param and value we are basically uh, setting it up on uh, a set parameter and within this function we are defining the value of this parameter param initializing it with the value here on this params uh, variable that we have initially declared so what you now i am doing i am calling the function set parameter here and passing it with these two parameters user and bas so as these will go and get into the function body here we will see that initially the value uh, initially this value will then be set to bas if you see bas is the uh, parameter second parameter so the second parameter wherein we are saying console dot log arms dot user here now the value of my uh, property of my user property will become bas so what we have done we have created a simple basic function we saw that how we can create our own function in javascript and now let's go ahead and look for another interesting code snippet in javascript so we'll again go back to our candy.openweaver.com and here i will try to make another search query say create new data type in java script as my search query is run i will see i will again find a very very simple snippet at the very beginning i'll copy this snippet go back to my ide create another file paste this code here save the code say with data type dot js after i do this i will just run this code and as i run the code i will see this as the output logged on to the output screen so let's try and quickly understand what's happening in this second code snippet where we are trying to create our own data type so i have created a class called person here and initialized a constructor with the two parameters name and age so i have uh, created instances of them the like of this class initialized with the name and age parameters after that i have uh, initialized or say provided the values as bill and the age parameter or the second uh, as 40 for this person class so name will be initialized to uh, bill age will be uh, set to 40 so i now have used the check type function on uh, a data basically that is one of the parameters which i have put into the check type function and in this function what i am doing is if this data is an instance of the class person then return the data type as person if not then return what type of data it is okay so whatever is getting going to get into this check type function i am checking whether it is of type class type person i mean data type person or if not then return that type we using the type of function in build type of function i want to check the type of that data so when we call from this log dot console bill instance of person so when we say when we are asking whether bill is of type person it has returned us the output as true because bill belongs to or bill is or uh, bill is have is of class person itself similarly when we use the check type function on bill directly it will give us the type of that data type of that uh, bill which is person and also when we put it in a string form 
then we will simply get the string as the data type of uh, this bill that is being passed as a parameter into the check type function. So with this, we are able to simply, you know, create our own custom data type in JavaScript. Now quickly head to, let's head to the third type of uh, code snippet exercise. We'll try to create an entire application of sorts. So for that, I'll actually go ahead and search for, say, age calculator. We want to basically, you know, get an age calculator using JavaScript. I'll do this search. And then I'll see what codes could be relevant for my search. Okay, now uh, this looks like a handy one. I'll simply copy this, get back to my IDE. On my IDE, I'll again create a fresh new text file, paste the code there, check the code for correctness. I see that it just has a script element to it. I'll add the HTML as well. And we will add the closing tag here as well. And then try and save this as well. So I'll say birth date calculator and save it. And then I'll try to also run this code, the live server. As I run this with the live server, I'll see the screen. I will, it, I can see that it has these different boxes wherein, which is a table that has been created a button for calculation. So let's say just entering some details on the year and say month and the day. So then clicking on the calculate, it is able to give us the number of years, months and days based on the current day then that we are searching on. So let's try and understand how this code for age calculation has been created. So we see that within the script element, what we have simply done, we have tried to, uh, within the function calculate.diff, we have tried to pass uh, or basically what we are trying to do with this code is calculate the difference between a birth date and the current date in terms of, you know, the birth date and current date in terms of years, months and days. So this function, JavaScript function called calculate diff, this is triggered when the calculate button is clicked. The function starts by parsing the values from three input fields, from year, from month, from day. So... After this, uh, you know, all these three values uh, are fetched or passed and then these values are stored uh, as integers in variables from year, from month, from day. Then the function creates a new date object to represent the current date and retrieves the year, month and day using uh, the get full year, get month, all these uh, get day sort of values. After that, we have simply done some mathematics here so that we are able to calculate after uh, we have retrieved all these values, uh, we are storing it and then, then the function does the calculation between the birth date and the current date using some uh, arithmetic operations, stores it further in years, months and days and finally the function concatenates the values of year, months and days into a string and sets the text content of an element with the IDE result to this string. So the input fields for the birth date and the calculate button and a table to display the result. So the values from the input fields are used as arguments in the calculate diff function when the calculate button is clicked. So this is, you know, the simple way 
in which uh, the entire table is being defined here all these the structure of it and within the script element is where we are uh, basically calculating the uh, year month and the number of days of the person so this should be an interesting exercise to do and now let's quickly get to our actual index.html file wherein the uh, we had done the creation of a login page so under this html tag we have a style sheet styles.css this is again completely defining the style of styling of the page the title is defined here and then we go for the script tag wherein we have defined the input one of the input variables so that we can fetch the password here further we have used an event listener with the help of which we use the key press i and a function so that when that person uh, when that particular key is being pressed say enter we cancel the default action and trigger the button element on click so on clicking what will happen is what we have defined in the display form so this display form has the uh, user value which we will input for username and the password value that is also we have set to root so this page 2.html is what this form will navigate to when the button is being clicked so uh, the page 2.html basically has a simple welcome message that we see after we have clicked the uh, login button and uh, in case you are not entering the correct username an invalid uh, invalid username and an invalid password accordingly would be uh, alert for the same would be generated rest is uh, the your uh, you know the body tag where in the placement of your button the username box and the heading etc is being represented and the background design and all is being showcased so with this you have a simple interesting login page created to you for you in a very simplistic manner also we have various other interesting exercises listed down in the same kit you see we have a flex panel the entire file for that if we go ahead and run this we'll be able to see a very interesting flex panel exercise as well so if you see hey let's dance give give take receive so this sort of a flex panel code is also being presented to you in this same kit you just have to simply go ahead and check out in the index.html file we have a clock uh, program also set for you there's a rock paper scissors as well listed down here so go check these out and play with these interesting uh, code snippets as well to enhance your experience in javascript and keep learning thank you hope you found this session useful you can find the link to the javascript kit and many other ready to deploy kits in the description below head over to candy to build incredible projects on augmented reality artificial intelligence blockchain gaming and many more try out candy kits now hit that subscribe button and join us at the open weaver community of developers to learn more and build many more incredible projects thank you for watching this session till the next one bye bye